Hi everybody, thanks for joining me again today on my channel. My name is Chris with Kristen's Crafts and today I am bringing you this third process video for the Build a Page series for the month of May. So today I am scrapbooking these two pictures of my mom and dad. This was um, them going out to dinner for my mom's 81st birthday and so I just want to make sure that I documented it. Now with the photos they're dark because the restaurant they go to has um, a very dark interior. However her birthday is in March so I thought I could get away with more of a spring layout since she has a spring birthday and it will brighten it up just a little bit. Um, if you have an issue with that you might want to you know turn the photos black and white or something like that. To me I don't have a problem with it and I'm fine with it going in the book with the darker photos and the more spring paper. So I am decided that today I was going to divide the papers up into quarters and have the floral going um, at in a triangle on the top and the bottom and meeting in the center. So it looks like a giant quilt square. And then I matted each of the photos on a scrap piece of blue paper that we had from the layout yesterday. And now I'm going to mat them both on this green um, polka dot paper and make it one giant mat to go in the center. Normally I will take those um, papers and I would have fussy cut the flowers out, but I do that all the time. So I thought this way I would still have that um, pretty floral in there without doing my usual fussy cutting and just use the floral paper as the feature instead of the actual individual florals themselves. Now I had a doily on my desk that I had pulled out as part of my little embellishments and I'm just cut it in half and used a little at the top and at the bottom. And now you're going to see me struggle. I don't know if it's because I've had these little washi tapes in my um, collection for a while or if it's just the brand. These were from Recollections and um, they did not want to come off the backing. When I put it down, I liked it, but I thought it would look good um, as more of a torn edge. And so you're going to see that I'm going to try and tear the bottom one while it's on the layout itself. And I don't like how it ends up looking. And so you're going to see me um, futzing around with it quite a bit. I end up pulling off another piece of the washi afterwards and just going and covering that torn bit up and then having to put it at the top. And then when I put it at the top, the other green piece did not come off the backing at all. So I ended up just putting an ATG down and holding it down with the ATG. So if you have any of this um, Recollections washi, I think I got it maybe in the planner section from Michaels. It really is, um, I don't know what the what the deal was with that stuff, but I obviously need to get it used up and out of my stash or pitch it because that was giving me more of a headache than I really needed. So here, as you can see, where I'm taking um, my ATG and just running a strip of adhesive across the top because of the fact um, that it wouldn't come off the backing. So I do like how it turned out in the end, but um, if I had to do it over again, I think I would have torn the like a done a torn washi look before I actually put it on the layout. So now I'm taking the little wagon of florals along with the um, little banner that says, I think um, you make me happy or something like that. And I put that at the top. I put the big floral on the side along with the chipboard camera. And then at the bottom, I put the bicycle that had all the balloons. Um, sorry, it's kind of off the page a little bit there. I used the big um, bird, the chipboard bird at the top along with the butterfly. And now I'm just sprinkling some of the hearts around. And then I'm going to go into the puffies. And I will end up... Um, adding a few of the puffies too. At the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm using that little um, megaphone that says um, happy on it. And then I'm going to spell out birthday. So it's happy birthday. And then I'll add 81 since it was her 81st birthday. Here, I'm just going through and trying to find one font so I could do something in like either the pink or the blue 
in one font. And I start doing it and realize that this um, collection from Rosie Studios, not every color was in every letter. So I ended up just going ahead and mixing and matching it. And it's fine. Again, this is just something that goes into my album to remember my mom's birthday. And um, I don't think in years to come, I'm going to be too worried about um, whether I was perfect in my coordination of my um, fonts or if I'm just going to enjoy looking at a photo of my mom and dad. I think the latter will be <laughs> what's more important to me versus what color letters I used. So here's where I'm adding um, that they had some stars on there. And then I'm just going to grab those rosy studio puffies in blue and I'm going to add a little bird on the bike seat and then a couple of the little puffy flowers here and there and that's going to be it for the layout um, very again very simple I I surprise myself every month on how quickly these go together once you have the kits made so thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure that you check out Shannon, Christy, Moira, and Sheila, and Jen. And we will see you tomorrow for layout number four.